The Pan American Games would have wrapped up here in Santiago, Chile over the weekend and for Team Guyana they would have won uh, three medals, one silver and two bronze medals. That silver medal would have come from Jasmine Abrams in the women's 100 meter. One of the bronze medals came from Emmanuel Archibald in the 100 meter and the last few works were from Leslin Beard in the men's javelin. Beards are bronze medal is quite historic for Guyana as it's the first athlete from Guyana to medal uh, in that event since these games that have started in 1959. Uh, Beard would have come third in his event with a best throw of 78 23. Uh, the Brazilian uh, Henrique Nunes had uh, 78 45, and then the American Curtis Thompson was the only person to hit that 79 marker. Uh, Beard is extremely emotional after his success, noting that, you know, persons may have written him off uh, given how serious that injury was. He had a meniscus tear about two years ago, but he really battled back. And his story is one of, you know, as they say, no pain, no gain. And Beard certainly wants to continue pressing on as he also hopes to push uh, for Paris 2024 Olympic qualification. I, can, I cannot explain the emotion I'm, that I'm going through right now. Right? Oh, I must give thanks to the Almighty for Give me health and strength to make me reach at this level in so honor and medal. Thanks to my parents, my entire family, the entire Guyan Defense Force, Ronnie Brave Club, all the clubs in, in, in Guyana. Not forgetting the police club. Thank you for your support. I've earned this medal through sweat and tears and blood. All right. Two years ago. I didn't see this possible because due to the meniscus injury that I had, but I pushed through. Today, I stand. Honestly, I, I don't know. Speak to another one of the athletes who really excelled here in Chile, Manuel Archibald. Apart from Manuel Archibald winning that 100 meter bronze, he also got into the 200 meter final. Not as really favorite event as you would say, predominantly a 100 meter and a long jumper holds the national record in long jump. But for him, a big takeaway was the fact that he knows he can compete with the best in the world, given the caliber of persons that would usually attend these games. It was a good, a good game, we can't complain, making two finals. Even though I finished eighth and my body was tired, so it was a very long season. So we just rest up and come again. You look back at these games uh, and you want to take into your campaign against the Paris Bulls. What's the learning points? Um, that I can compete with the rest of the world. I just need to stay focused, stay patient, and execute as my coaches say. How soon will you see you back in the long jump? By next two weeks, I should be in Guyana doing long jump at Joint Services. Presented by 20 athletes across nine disciplines. Majority of the athletes, uh, although not being able to, to make it into some finals or being able to progress to winning medals, a lot of them had some serious improvements uh, in their respective events. And, and that is the biggest takeaway for many of the athletes coming to this high level of competition and being able uh, to, to improve from where you enter. And the biggest takeaway is the experience. And many of them are looking at 2024 as certainly a year where they could hopefully make their mark in their respective event. Reporting from Santiago, Chile, I'm Akim Green.